The most crucial elements are exquisitely dependent upon science and technology. Yet, we have clearly arranged things in such a way that hardly anyone understands anything about science and technology, said the famous American astronomer Carl Sagan. A warm welcome to one and all present here. Can let be of intellectuals. I have a great gratitude towards you for perceiving such a contemporary and topic. During the Greek scholars' time, uh, Ptolemy came up with the heliocentric theory which said that Sun is the center of the universe. But after that, who okay, came? Of course, Copernicus. Copernicus said that Earth is the center of the universe to his astronomical look modern name the geocentric theory. And after that, Galileo, with the invention of the telescope, made true shocking revelation in space science. Now we are finding new kinds to go through with the idea of space excavation. But still, the budget of ISRO in our country is very, very less compared to other nations. If you look at USSR, you can look at America, you can look at China. They have a better budget than this country. The so-called politicians and leaders are completely ranting in the news debates happening in our media channels. They are talking about how we can use this money for better options. Let me tell you why the budget of ISRO is very much low in India through a simple incident. Recently, a female scientist in, in ISRO, she was uh, learning about Mars, she was doing Mars excavation and she was not being able to get married. And the reason was her horoscope. Because of the Mars affliction in her horoscope, she was not being able to get married. This is exactly why this is happening in India. The people of India did not have any science. India is the first and only country to adopt science September in our constitution. The article 51A, uh, the fundamental duty, it states that we as the citizens of India must have science September develop a better world. We must have humanity. We must have the spirit of reform. But still, these same politicians who are supposed to rule the country, who are supposed to guide us using the secret holy book that is our constitution, they are not listening to what the constitution says. We recently launched Anitya L1. Yes, the satellite which went to uh, so the sun to run up and learn about the corona rays and also the helium combustion that is happening in the core of the sun. I was able to meet the project director of that mission and he said the same thing. The politicians of our country are saying that there are not enough scientists who are working in ISRO and that is the reason why they are not giving a bigger budget for our country. But let me tell you, we did not have the fuel to send Chandrayaan 3 to the moon directly. We were not able to do that. And what we had to do, we had to use the gravitational field of Earth and moon and use a rotatory motion and a revolutionary motion to project our satellite, the lander and the rover to Mars. This is what we are having, that is happening with us. Still, other foreign countries, foreign countries face excavation centers, not like NASA, they still reach out to Indian scientists for advice. Because India is great at projecting missiles and projecting satellites into the space. And if they are saying space excavation is not the current topic, it's not the hot topic that we are talking about, we are talking about this in news television. And how would your news television work? They work using the satellites that are in the space. Why don't they realize that everything that we are looking forward to in the future, it is going to be depend upon space excavation. Because Albert Einstein, years ago, he talked about black holes. Nobody listened to it. Yes, now we have most of, of the black holes which set the center of our Milky Way galaxy. And now people are going to believe that black holes exist. This is exactly the revelation that is happening in India right now. The political leaders must, we must simply defenestrate all the political opportunities from this country if we need our country to go further and further ahead in the field of science and technology. Albert Einstein had said, imagination is more important than knowledge. This same idea should be relevant in our society today. Our political leaders and we as citizens don't simply tore Mr. Abraham, sorry, Mr. Abdul Kalam into shreds. Why did we do that? Because he failed one mission. The 
mission after that was a complete success because one mission built into the uh, river, uh, sorry, the ocean, we were completely shredding him apart. Science is all about progress. Science is fact. It is the truth. And that is the one thing we must realize in the society. And we must simply increase the economy that is given to our space excavation centers, uh, the ISRO, of course. I believe that is the only way that we can move forward and create a better nation with scientific temper. Please listen to me and make a change. Thank you and have a great day.